Giants fans, like Broncos fans, seem to only be able to cheer when their head coach is fired. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I am Brandon. John Mara must have been too busy making sure the NFL makes the taunting emphasis permanent to fire his head coach on time. Perna. Did John Mara just see the QB sneak on third and nine Tuesday? Did he see it Tuesday? Is that what sent him over the edge? Or even worse, is John Mara a reactionary team owner who saw all the people shitting on the Giants for not firing Joe Judge and acquiesced? I mean, how do you believe in a guy one day, Monday, and then Tuesday not believe in him? Oh man, I know Giants fans are happy, but I see zero chance the right hire happens here unless Mara got confirmation Russell Wilson would not play for the Giants with Joe Judge. Today, I'll discuss the Judge firing, Bill O'Brien going to the Jags, Eric Weddle joining the Rams, and Marshawn Lynch to the broadcast booth. Whew, what a day. That's good sports. Hey, if you're happy your coach got fired, please go ahead, subscribe to this football YouTube channel. New year, new you, new pubes. Today's episode is brought to you by manscaped.com slash good sports. It might be time to upgrade your dong tongs and that's why I recommend the Performance Package 4.0 with the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. A cordless, waterproof, below the belt groomer that you can use in the shower. Please trim in the shower and stop trying to complete the trim your pubes during your work Zoom call challenge. With the Performance Package, you get the lawnmower and the weed whacker to clear out those nasty nose holes and the crop preserver and reviver to shine and desmellify your balls. If you think someone other than yourself might be looking at your naked pelvic area, put your best phallus forward with the ultimate grooming kit. Use my link below. Uh, go to manscaped.com slash goodsports for 20% off plus free international shipping and two free gifts. My favorite story, Marshawn Lynch to the Thursday night broadcast booth is a real possibility. Amazon Prime is taking over Thursday night football in 2022 and is paying the NFL a billion per year to do it. And that's the plan for the next 11 years. Welcome to the jungle, baby. And Amazon is currently apparently negotiating with Al Michaels to be their play-by-play -play commenter and want Marshawn Lynch in the booth as well. Can you imagine Lynch sipping Hennessy, dropping F-bombs like we saw on the Manning cast while sitting next to Al Michaels? Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? I, mean, I don't think it's not hey, good. Do it to me, Bezos, and do it hard. Now don't forget, Marshawn Lynch actually did broadcast work for the FCF, Fan Controlled Football League. So here's a little taste of what Lynch in the booth might sound like. I'm gonna go ahead and throw back this Caesar salad with these croutons and all this shit though, right? <laughs> go ahead, take me a nice fat shit, get my stomach all right and everything. Then I'm finna go out here and try to run for 200 on a 50 yard field like what's happening. <laughs> and like ESPN's Come On Man, before every Thursday night broadcast, I want a segment with Marshawn Lynch called Run Through a Motherfucker's Face, where he features running backs running through a motherfucker's face. And Kyle Brandt's angry runs can take a backseat to that more creative approach. Think there's a deeper metaphor there? Run through a motherfucker's face. Now in a move nobody saw coming, the Rams have signed retired NFL safety Eric Weddle to their roster for the playoffs. Now this move comes uh, as the Rams lost safety Jordan Fuller to an ankle injury that may require surgery, plus safety Taylor Rapp is in the concussion protocol, and corner Darius Williams is dealing with the shoulder injury he suffered in the 49ers game. Next to a quarterback injury, which the Rams dealt with last postseason, a declining secondary is a massive blow for any team trying to get to a Super Bowl. Now, Eric Weddle last played in the NFL in 2019 for the Rams. He's been retired for two years, and as much as I love Waddle, 
And as much as I love Weddle, that's a long time for a defensive player to not be in the game. And outside of understanding the system, I have to wonder if this was the most effective move for the Rams. Why not take a chance on someone like Trey Boston, who is a free agent, uh, has eight less years of his life on him than Weddle, or a practice squad player off of a competitor's roster, or hell, maybe Aqib Talib could play safety and broadcast the game at the same time. Well, it's probably because Eric Weddle is an incredibly smart player who could come in and help call plays for the defense. Fuller was the Rams' defensive signal caller, so maybe they need a guy who can come in and handle those duties, even if he does need a hover round to get from one side of the field to another. Weddle held that role for the Rams back in 2019, and obviously I hope the beard works out. I hope he is great and is a key a key player for the Rams in the postseason, but I have questions. All right, the Giants no longer have a head coach. Although Giants fans will tell you they haven't had a head coach in years. I'd argue you don't have a real owner either. John Mara is a bad owner. He's as bad as Dolphins owner, Steven Ross. And the Dolphins and the Giants both have real problems. Their owners, no bueno. Steven Ross, since he took over for the Dolphins in 2008, what has he done? Why can't owners be fired? Oh yeah, because they're the richest. <laughs> but if you can't fix the head, your whole body's gonna suffer. And that's what Dolphins and Giants fans are probably facing. I do have a question. Did the internet and sports media bully John Mara into firing Joe Judge? If so, this is a huge win for cyberbullying. And a reminder that Giants fans are indeed smart enough to use the internet and that the internet actually works in New Jersey. Now the current head coaching vacancies in the NFL total six. You got the Giants, the Broncos, the Bears, the Vikings, the Dolphins, the Jaguars. And the Giants joined the Bears and Vikings to form the trifecta of teams looking for a new head coach and general manager. The Giants will interview uh, Joe Shane today for their GM position. Although I'd recommend staying away from Joe's if I were the Giants for a while but whatever, Shane is the current assistant GM in Buffalo, AKA GM God, Brandon Bean's assistant. Most around the league view Bean as a top flight GM. So this is probably a smart interview for the Giants. And there's a real possibility Brian Dable has an inside track to be the Giants head coach if Joe Shane takes the job in New York. If Shane isn't interested in interviewing Dable, for example, that might be a sign Dable isn't the best head coaching candidate out there. I'm not suggesting that at all. I like Dable, but just something to keep an eye on moving forward. Now it took an extra day, but the Giants did fire one of the most loathed coaches in the league by relieving Joe Judge of his duties. I hate how kind that sounds. How amazing would it be if Ian Rappaport went on the NFL Network with a breaking report and said, Joe Judge has been shit-canned by the Giants. That's the way it ought to be. Now Judge becomes another dead branch in the Bill Belichick coaching tree. I imagine Bill Belichick just waits for all of his coaches to come crawling back to him, beaten, humble, and more loyal than ever. Letting other teams break his subordinates is the Belichick 4D chess. Now Bryce on Twitter put it as Patriots Rum Springer, which is just too damn funny. Now here's a look at Belichick's coaching tree. Yep, it's the dead ass tree at the end of the giving tree. <laughs> you can see the shelf life of Belichick disciple is about two and a half years. Uh, Bill O'Brien has had the most success after leaving New England. Four playoff appearances in Houston during his seven year stretch. O'Brien, most recently was the one offensive coordinator not good enough to get Bama a national title after they lost to Georgia on Monday. You'll notice that Mike Vrabel is not on this list. Vrabel never coached with Belichick. He played for him, but he branched out from the Bill O'Brien coaching tree. So the O'Brien coaching tree so far better than the Belichick tree. O'Brien is interviewing for the Jaguars job tomorrow. Just remember Jacksonville, this is how Bill O'Brien once exited a Texans game. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> NFL head coach, the absolute best job for men with anger management problems. Stemming from deep-seated daddy issues. <laughs> Apparently, Bill Belichick told Giants owner John Mara, Joe Judge was a better hire than his last two. And when you remember those guys were Ben McAdoo and Pat Shermer, I'd say no shit, man. <laughs> I'd also say, but not by much. And not only do the Giants have the embarrassing stats of five straight losing seasons, but during that time, they never even had a winning record. Forever behind in the count, the Giants. Their first round draft pick, wide receiver Kadarius Toney, and their top free agent acquisition, Kenny Galladay, combined for zero touchdowns this season. Those two players didn't even combine for a thousand yards of offense. Here's a list of the coaching and GM vacancies and interviews each team would like to conduct right now. There's too many for me to name. So just use your eyeballs here and read the fucking list. I put it right in front of you. Now I will say my Broncos are in first place for trying to schedule the most interviews. George Payton is talking to everyone. And keep in mind, he may be eyeing some guys for coordinator roles and simply networking, forming relationships with coaches who could be considered for varying roles down the line. I think that's smart. The weird thing about this coaching firing period was that head coach Brian Flores was fired before Joe Judge. And unlike Judge, who I am sure will come running back to Belichick with his tail between his legs, Flores is already scheduled to interview with the Bears for their head coaching job and may even be the favorite for the gig. Or maybe not, if you ask sports books who have these as the likely landing spots for possible coaches. The Bears are the favorites to land Jim Harbaugh, Broncos, Dan Quinn, Dolphins, Brian Dable, Giants, Brian Dable, Jaguars, Bill O'Brien, Vikings, Eric Bieniemy. I think Nathaniel Hackett definitely lands a gig this cycle, so one of those is definitely wrong. Possibly the Broncos. Honestly, the Giants should interview Bill O'Brien. All the great coaches have been named Bill. Bill Belichick, Bill Walsh, Bill Parcells, who coached for the Giants, Bill Cower, and damn it, Bill O'Brien. I'm trying to save you, Jacksonville. Help me with my campaign to get Bill O'Brien to New York City. Thanks for watching That's Good Sports Coaching News Update episode. Please subscribe here. And if you wanna watch more football videos, there's one on the screen right now. YouTube really likes it when you click that video. They think I'm the bee's freaking knees when that happens. <laughs>